My name is Macarena Pinzon, and today I want to talk to you about overcoming your fears and getting out of your comfort zone. If I ask you, what is your biggest fear? You will most likely have an answer for me. Maybe you're scared of heights, and that's why you don't want to join your family on the roller coaster in Disneyland. Or maybe you're scared to meet new people, making you have a hard time socializing in public spaces. We all have fears. Some are small, some are big, and each affects you differently. As a person who has many fears, believe me, I have a long list that I could share with you. I can tell you I've experienced those kinds of side effects myself. I've always been that girl who loves to socialize, explore, and meet new people. You will probably expect me to be a very self-confident person, but I'm not. Well, at least I wasn't before. When it came to public speaking or being put in the spotlight in front of others, it was a whole different story. My anxiety levels would go really high. I would start shaking and you could tell by my face that I was either scared or uncomfortable. These symptoms are what prevented me at first to not be able to become successful at dance, debating, and more. At times, these series of events made people underestimate my abilities, and I didn't like that. So I decided to prove not only them wrong, but most importantly, prove myself that I can be good at whatever I give a purpose to. Today, I am one of the best tap dancers in my competition team, and I became excellent at debating in Model UN simulations. How did I accomplish this? I gave myself the challenge to overcome my fears and get out of my comfort zone. Now, I want to give this challenge to you. Like my case, some of you will have an easier and clean path. You will find it easy to just let yourself out of that bubble that is preventing you to accomplish what you want. Unluckily, some of you will have more obstacles on the way, making that bubble take longer to pop. I can assure you it will be frustrating, at least at first. That's why you will have to be persistent. The word persistent is one you may be familiar with and often told about. But what exactly is persistence? In a short definition, persistent could be described as a person who continues to do something, although it may seem that they can't. I learned about this word in school for as long as I can remember. It's a word that I have been reminded of frequently at many points in my life. You probably now have an idea of what I am trying to tell you, not only about persistence, but also the point of this speech. Just before I give this speech an end, I would like to give you only one and final piece of advice. Just one more, I promise. When trying something new, at times, you might feel that maybe whatever you're about to give a purpose to is not gonna work or won't end up in a positive manner. But just remember this. My dad, whenever I told him, for example, that I wanted to have a tap solo or win an award in MUN, or recently when I told him that I, wa I was considering modeling as a career path, he always told me to visualize the moment. Let me give you a better perspective. By visualizing the moment, I'll use one of the past examples I gave. Mm. Let's use the dance one, since it's one of the first moments I was given this advice. For a really long time since I joined the dance team, I wanted a tap solo, but I would always give myself unnecessary negative thoughts and clearly didn't help me mentally. That's when my dad stopped me and told me to visualize me getting that solo. Visualize me dancing that solo on stage. Visualize me winning an award with that solo. I took his advice and finally, when I was in sixth grade, I was given a tap solo. Oh, how could I almost forget about the time when he, my dad also made me read a book every day. It clearly mentioned a lot about what I just told you, but mostly it talked about what I am speaking to you today, overcoming your fears and getting out of your comfort zone. That book is what helped me become that the person I am today and convinced me to write this speech about this topic. This is something that I, Maka, don't only go through, but also millions of people around the world. And I want to see more people giving themselves this challenge. It's a challenging one, but no matter how big or small it is, believe me, it would all be worth it in the end. Thank you and have a nice day.